Good morning, my pack. It is September 2nd, the second day of the sea lion experiment. We're at the dog park getting our walk in. We're going for a mile to two miles. Um, that's our goal every day. Yesterday we hit two and a half miles. So we're on our second for the dog park. So that's the plan for today. After this, go home, get a shower. I gotta go get my A1C tested and then uh, go from there. So I have been listening to Atomic Habits while at the dog park. Um, so in August, Carnivorous Me had a habits challenge and we were reading Atomic Habits, but life got away from me. So I didn't finish it. So I'm restarting in September, but I'll put a link to her channel in my description. So I'm going to walk and I'll catch up with you guys after the walk. Bye for now. Good morning, my pack. It is September 3rd, the third day of the sea line experiment. I had totally not expected to go to the dog park. My plan was it's Sunday. I watched church on the internet. That's what I'm doing. Start my morning routine and here we are. Okay, my one and a half to two miles in. And yeah, that's where we are. Jasper was so excited to get out here. He rushed me out to the car. And then I realized I didn't have my car keys. Go figure. So that is uh, what I'm doing. My book for this week has been Atomic Habits by James Clear. Listen to it on Audible. I will link Carnivorous Me's channel in my description. She's the one that really got me into it. And we're going from there. See you guys later. Bye for now. Good afternoon, my pack. It is still Sunday. We watched church. I gave Jasper a bath. Well, Jasper and I both got cleaned up. And then we went to the store. I'm on my way home from the store already. So this is what we wound up getting. We wound up getting 15 ribeyes on sale. We wound up getting two bottom round steaks. Those are going to be made into like either steak bites or jerky. I haven't decided which yet. And then um, I got two bags of shrimp and a small four ounce package of smoked salmon. So the smoked salmon is going to go with like little pieces of smoked salmon with my shrimp and steak as like kind of like a tiny tiny little like extra add-on to my meal. So that's going to be like a little bonus to my meals versus trying to eat all four ounces at once because you know that'll be sad and the, the, the smoked salmon will go very very quickly that way. Typically, if I was not doing the sea lion diet, I would just put a smear of cream cheese on a pork rind and then a little bit of smoked salmon and I sprinkle a little dill on it. I am not opposed to seasonings on carnivore. It's just right now I'm cleaning everything up for the three months. So what I'll probably do is I will probably go back to my two standbys, which is my dill weed for when I am having smoked salmon with a little cream cheese on a pork rind. If I go back to dairy, I don't know if I'll go back to dairy. If I don't go back to dairy, then I will go with just the everything bagel seasoning smoked salmon because that's just plain smoked salmon with some everything but the bagel seasoning on it. Um, and then my um, my grill mates, is it grill mates? Yeah, Cormac grillers or whatever. Um, the chicken one, I think it's Monterey chicken or something like that or 
Montreal chicken is what it is. Um, so I will probably just go back to those if I go back to them. I don't 100% know yet. What I do know is I'm going to try one, seeing how everything goes, not having any of that stuff in. And then I will probably bring in the flavored element. If I find that I'm having a spike in my A1C from that, then I will cut it right back out. Um, depending on how I feel, I might bring coffee back in. Might not. I don't know. And then I might try bringing cheese in. I, I don't really know if I'll bring anything else in back in. Well, except for meat. But right now, that's where I'm at. Good evening, my pack. It is September 3rd. I already salted my shrimp, my smoked salmon, and my steak. I have a 15 ounce ribeye with a tablespoon of tallow that will melt before I eat it. Got half a serving or two slices of um, Latitude 45 smoked salmon, and then I have two ounces of shrimp with some lard and um, some lard from the steak and uh, some salt on that. So that is what I'm having for dinner with an element raw unflavored in my water bottle. And I will see you later. Bye for now. Good morning, my pack. It is September 4th. Hoping I'm not getting anyone else in this video. Whew. Dog park is crowded this morning. I got my electrolytes. Not drinking them until I'm done because I'm using them as weights while at the dog park. Um, but we're on our third lap around the dog park. Um, two laps have gotten easier, so I've been doing three laps the last two days. So I'll do three laps until it gets easy. And then I'll start on four laps. So that's what it's looking like. Um, I don't want the smoked salmon to be in my fridge way too long. So I'm thinking I'll just do steak and smoked salmon. I might get something else to go with it, but I haven't decided yet. <laughs> anyway, I'll be back with you after the dog park. Bye for now. Good morning, my pack. We are done at the dog park. So we are headed home. We'll probably do a quick little drive around so I can finish what I'm gonna say here. But I'm gonna cry foul. I'm going to really cry foul. And I don't know if it's Apple Fitness or if it's my iPhone or if it's user error. People are probably going to say it's user error. Um, I put my iPhone when I'm at the dog park in the back pocket. So there's a front pocket that faces out and the back pocket that's up against where, like, your midriff where you put the fanny pack. So, um, I put the phone iPhone in that back pocket and um, Apple Fitness tracks as I work out. Well, the first time I walked around the dog park, um, not the very first time, but you know what I mean, the first time for this challenge um, or this experiment, I walked around the dog park. I way closed my fitness. It's like, hey, do you want to move your fitness up? And I'm like, yeah, let's move my fitness up. So I moved my fitness up and I walked the next day and when I checked after my two laps, it's like, you haven't even closed it, girl. What the heck are you doing? So I kept walking and I did a third lap. And I was at, um, I believe, 2.8 miles by the time I was done. And then I did the same thing yesterday. And I always put it in the exact same spot. And I'm like, I did my second lap and I'm like, I know it's gonna say I'm not done, so I'm gonna keep walking. So I did my third lap. And by the time I got to the car, it said I did 
seven five miles. And I was like, okay, fair enough. Then today, exact same spot, I do my three laps. I check it like in the last quarter of the lap and it said I walked like 1.9 miles. I'm like, what the heck are you doing to me? I'm like, uh-uh. I'm like, I'm done with this after the third lap, forget it. So then I got to the car and I checked it and it said I did 2.37 miles. So I don't know what Apple Fitness is doing to me. Because I haven't moved my phone. It's been in the exact same spot. So I got to find that out. And like one lady that was like at the end, I'm like, what the heck? She's like, yeah, that's why I carry my iPhone. And I'm like, well, I can't do that. I do like um thing where you hold the water bottle like this up back here. And then you go up. I do that. I do 10 of those slowly at the start of each lap. Followed by taking my water bottle like this, holding it out in front for 10, back for 10, front for 10, back for 10, and I do that five times. Um, all in the first quarter of my lap, which is why when I, I can't see because this car keeps inching forward. That was BS. Anyway, um, like literally, I'd inch forward to look over and she'd be like, I'm inching forward. I'm like, dude, you're going straight. Who cares if I can turn right? Whew. People in their cars, I tell you. Um, but that's why when I record with you in the dog park, I usually record on the um, second quarter or the um the second quarter or the um last part of the lap if i record in the first quarter then it's my first lap because i start the extra exercises at the second lap which i know i know i should probably do that all three laps but you know that's how it goes any whom I am not going to sign off on this because I'm going to edit this with probably tomorrow's workout or yesterday's workout, one of the two. It will be on whatever video it fits in. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Okay, now that everyone is done going through, I am going to head home. Okay, guys, this was insanity. So I put in a pickup order from Myers. I went there and they were out of stock of everything except for one item. And I'm like, well, what's that going to do with my reward? And she said, yeah, um, so because we were out, we went back and we got you a larger steak. I'm like, thank you. And she's like, so we got you a larger steak. Your steak is only costing $1.30. So that was really nice to only get that for $1.30. But they were out of frozen scallops and everyone else was out of scallops. So I did stop at Mariano's and I picked up five sea scallops and then while I was there I decided to check out their smoked salmon because I noticed that the Latitude 45 had sugar listed on there but it was zero carb so it's very little sugar but still I was like mm, I'm still gonna eat it because it's open and I already ate two slices of it so I'm not gonna like throw it out or anything but I got this smoked salmon it's eight ounces and it has no sugar in it so if it is as good as it looks in there then i will be having that for my smoked salmon going forward so that is the plan i will be back with dinner okay my pack apparently 
this is the highest carb day I've had in four days. So day one, two, and three were zero carbs. Today is 5.3 grams of carbs. And the carbs are coming from the scallops. So one and a half servings of scallops came to 5.3 grams of carbs. I'm glad I only bought five because, you know, I'm going to enjoy my dinner. But wow, it's amazing. So yeah, um, scallops probably won't be in as much because I'm trying to keep as close to zero total carbs as possible. But 5.3 isn't totally horrible. I'm going to go ahead and salt this, eat my dinner, get Jasper's sniffy nose out of there, and I will see you guys later. Bye. Press the like button, hit subscribe, join our pack. We'd be happy to have you. It really does help our channel grow and help get our channel out there. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.